Mr. Rashpur, can you give me screen sharing rights? Thank you, bro. Krishna, I welcome you all for this for this today's evening class, evening Bhagavad Gita class. Today we will be talking on Bhagavad Gita, chapter ten, verse number twelve and thirteen. <clears throat> Jaya Radha Madhava, Hari Jaya. Kunja Bihari Jaya Gopi Jana Vallaka Giribara Dari Jaya Gopi Jana Vallaka Giribara Dari Yasho Danandana Prajajana Ranjana Yashodanandana Braja Jana Ranjana Yamuna Tira Vanachari Yamuna Tira Vanachari Jayura Jayara Dhamadava Kunja Bihari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jayo Radha Gopinath Radha Gopinath Radhe. Jaya Radha Gopinatha Radha Gopinatha Radhe Jaya Radha Ras Bihari Radha Ras Bihari Radhe Jaya Radha Ras Bihari Radha Ras Bihari Radhe Jaya Radha Giritari Radha Giritari Radhe Jaya Radha Giri Dhari Radha Giri Dhari Radhe Jaya Jaya Prabhupad 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 Jaya Jaya Prabhupad Jaya Jaya Prabhupad 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 Jaya Jaya Prabhupad Jaya Jaya Guru Dev Guru Dev Guru Dev Jaya Jaya Guru Dev Jaya Jaya Guru Dev Guru Dev Guru Dev Jaya Jaya Guru Dev Nitai Gaura Hari Bo Hari Bo Hari Bo Nitai Gaura Hari Bo Nitai Gora Hari Bo Hari Bo Hari Bo Nitai Gora Hari Bo Bolo Hari Nam Sankirtan Ki Shri La Prabhupada Ki Bolo Hari Nam Sankirtan Ki Thank you very much Mr. Gopi Mataji No problem Prabhu <clears throat> so we'll read uh, verse number 12 and 13 of chapter 10 Bhagavad Gita 
अर्जुन उवाच पुषम शाश्वत दिव्यम देवर्षिनारदस्तता असितो देवलो असितो देवलो स्वयं चैवं स्वयं अर्जुन उवाच अर्जुन उवाच पर ब्रह्म परम धाम परम ब्रह्म परम धाम पवित्र परम भवान्षम शाश्वत दिव्यम शाश्वत दिव्यम आदिदेव अजम विभु आदिदेव विभु अहुस्वाम ऋषय सर्वे देवर्षी नारदस्तता देवर्षी नारदस्तता आशितो देवलो व्यास आशितो देवलो व्यास स्वयं चैव ब्रवीषि मे स्वयं चैव ब्रवीषि मे उवाच अर्जुन अर्जुन वाच पर ब्रह्म परम धाम परम ब्रह्म परम धाम पवित्र पुषम पवित्र परम भवा पवित्र परम भवा पुषम शाश्वत दिव्यम पुषम शाश्वत दिव्यम आदिदेव अजम विभु आदिदेव अजम विभु अवस्थम ऋषय सर्वे देवर्षी देवर्षी आशितो देवलो व्यास आशितो देवलो व्यास स्वयं चैव ब्रवीषि मे स्वयं चैव ब्रवीषि मे वुड यू लाइक टू मंता जी आई विल अर्जुन उवाच अर्जुन अर्जुन उवाच परम ब्रह्म परम धाम परम ब्रह्म परम धाम पवित्र परम भवान पवित्र परम भवान पुरुषम शाश्वत दिव्यम पुरुषम शाश्वत दिव्यम आदिदेव अजम विभु आदि देव अजम विभु आहुस्वाम ऋषय सर्वे आहुस्वाम ऋषय सर्वे देवर्षी नारदस्तता देवर्षी नारदस्तता असितो देवलो व्यास असितो देवलो वैश स्वयं चैव ब्रवीषि मे अर्जुन उवाच अर्जुन उवाच परम ब्रह्म परम धाम परम ब्रह्म परम धाम पवित्र परम भवान पवित्र परम भवान पुरुषम शाश्वत दिव्यम पुरुषम शाश्वत दिव्यम 
आदि देवम अजम विभूम आदि देवम अजम विभूम आहुस्वाम रशया सर्वे आहुस्वाम रशया सर्वे देवर्षि नारदस्तता देवर्षि नारदस्तता आशितो देवलो वैश्या आशितो देवलो व्यासह स्वयं चैवा ब्रविशि मे स्वयं चैवा ब्रविशि मे anyone else would like to repeat arjuna vacha arjuna vacha param brahma param dhama param brahma param dhama pavitram paramam bhavan pavitram paramam bhavan purusham shashvatam divyam purusham shashvatam divyam आदि देवम अजम विभुम आदि देवम अजम विभुम आहुस्वाम रशय सर्वे आहुस्वाम रशय सर्वे देवर्षिर नारदस्तथा देवर्षिर नारदस्तथा असितो देवलो व्यास असितो देवलो व्यास स्वयं चैवा ब्रवीषि मे स्वयं चैवा ब्रवीषि मे थैंक यू वेरी मच मंताजी सो विल रीड द सिनोनिम्स एंड ट्रांसलेशन अर्जुन उवाच अर्जुन सेड अर्जुन उवाच अर्जुन सेड परम सुप्रेम सुप्रेम ब्रह्मा ब्रह्मा ट्रूथ परम सुप्रीम परम सुप्रीम धाम सस्टेनेंस धाम सस्टेनेंस पवित्रम प्योर पवित्रम प्योर परमम सुप्रीम परमम सुप्रीम भवाम यू भवान यू पुरुषम पर्सनालिटी पुरुषम पर्सनालिटी शाश्वतम इटर्नल शाश्वतम इटर्नल Divyam transcendental. Divyam transcendental. Adi Devam, the original Lord. Adi Devam, original Lord. Ajam, unborn. Ajam, unborn. Vibhum, greatest. Vibhum, greatest. Ahu say. Ahu say. Tuam of you. Tuam of you. Rishaya sages, Rishaya sages, survey all, survey all. Devarshi, the sage among the demigods. Devarshi, the sage among the demigods. Narada, 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 Narada. Tatha also, Tatha also. Asita, 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 Asita. Devala, 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 Vyasa, 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 Swayam personally, Swayam personally, Cha also, Cha also, Eva certainly, Eva certainly, Bravishim, you are explaining, Bravishim, you are explaining. Me unto me, me unto me. Unto me. Translation: Arjuna said, "You are the supreme personality of Godhead, the ultimate abode, the purest, the absolute truth. You are the eternal, transcendental, original, the unborn, the greatest. You all the all the great sages such as Narada, Asita, Devala, and Vyasa." confirm this truth about you and now you yourself are declaring it to me so we will read the purport
Joe, wait. In these two verses, the I'm, Supreme I'm, I'm, I'm in forward. these two verses, the Supreme Lord gives a chance to um, Mayava the Maya. philosopher. For here, it is clear that the Supreme is different from the individual soul. Arjuna, after hearing the essential four verses of Bhagavad Gita in this chapter, became completely free from all doubt, all doubt and accepted Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Adi. He at once boldly declares, you are Param Brahma, the Supreme Personality of Adi. And previously, Krishna stated that he is the originator of everything and everyone. Every demigod and every human being is dependent on him. Men and demigods, out of ignorance, think that they are absolute independent of the Supreme Personality of God. That ignorance, ignorance. ignorance is removed perfectly by the discharge of devotional service. This has already been explained in the previous verse by the Lord. Now by his grace, Arjuna is accepting him as the supreme truth. In the coordinates with Vedic instruction, it is not that because Krishna is Arjuna, inmate friend, intimate friend, intimate friend, Arjuna is flattering him by calling him the supreme personality of God, the absolute truth. However, Arjuna says, whatever. whatever Arjuna says in these two verses confirmed by Vedic truth, Vedic injunction, injunctions affirm that only one who takes to devotional service to the Supreme Lord can understand this, can understand him, whereas others cannot. Each and every word of this verse spoken by Arjuna is confirmed by Vedic injunction. In the Kena Upanishad. In the Kena Upanishad, it is stated that the Supreme Brahman is the rest of everything. And Krishna has already explained that everything is resting on him. Mukadaka Mundaka Upanishad. Mundaka Upanisha confirms that the Supreme Lord in whom everything is resting can be realized by the own, by those who engage constantly in thinking of him. This this constant thinking of Krishna is sa, smaranam. smaranam. One of the methods of devotional service. It's only devotional service to Krishna that one can understand his position and get rid of this material body. In the Vedas, the Supreme Lord is accepted as the purest of the pure. One who understands that Krishna is the purest of the pure can become purified from all sinful activities. One cannot be disaffected from sinful activities unless he surrenders unto the Supreme Lord. Arjuna's acceptance of Krishna as the supreme pure complies with the injunctions of Vedic literature. literature. This is also confirmed by great personalities, personalities through Narada. Narada is the chief. Anyone else would like to read the next two paragraphs? Can I read Pokuji? Yes, Matiza. Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. And one should always meditate upon him and enjoy one's transcendental relationship with him. He is the super, supreme existence. He is free from bodily needs, birth, and death. Not only does Arjuna confirm this, but all the Vedic literatures, the Puranas, and histories. In all Vedic literatures, Krishna is thus described, and the Supreme Lord himself also says in the fourth chapter, Although I am unborn, I appear on this earth to establish religious principles. He is a supreme origin. He has no cause 
for he is the cause of all causes and everything is emanating from him this perfect knowledge can ha can be had by the grace of the supreme lord here arjuna expresses himself through the grace of krishna if we want to understand bhagavad gita we should accept the statements in these two verses this is called the parampara system acceptance of the disciplic succession unless one is in the disciplic succession he cannot understand bhagavad gita it is not possible by so called academic education unfortunately those proud of their academic education despite so much evidence in vedic literatures stick to their obstinate or conviction that krishna is an ordinary person hari krishna thank you very much pataji thank you all the wish shri prabhupad shri prabhupad ki jai param brahma param dhama you are the supreme personality of god at the ultimate abode पवित्रम परम भवान द प्योरेस्ट एंड द एब्सोल्यूट ट्रुथ पुरुषम शाश्वतम दिव्यम यू आर द इटर्नल पर्सनालिटी ट्रांसेंडेंटल आदि देवम अजम विभु द ओरिजिनल अनबाउंड एंड द ग्रेटेस्ट सो वी विल सी फ्यू फ्यू क्वालिटीज दैट दैट इन द परफेक्ट प्रभुपाद इज ट्राइंग टू ट्राइंग टू डिस्क्राइब so basically here arjuna is saying saying to krishna uh, that you are the supreme personality of god had the ultimate abode the purest the absolute truth you are the eternal transcendental original person unborn the greatest all the great sages such as narada asita devala and vyasa confirm this truth about you and now yourself are declaring it to me so here prabhupad prabhupad mentions uh, in his purport he has uh, elaborately described uh, that arjuna after hearing the essential four verses of bhagavad gita so this is the previous four verses which you heard from uh, from uh, from you know from pyari prabhu pyari prabhu sugopi i think sugopi mata ji as well and um, sundari radhika mata ji uh, our uh, shrinivas acharya prabhu ji everyone highlighted these verses so chatur shloki in short uh, krishna is the source of everything this is what uh, cha, verse number 8 uh, mentions aham sarvasya prabhavo i am the source and i am the source of all spiritual and material world this is verse number 8 chapter 10 so symptoms of the pure devotee number 9 matchita mat madmat gata prana so here symptoms are mentioned smaranam kirtan shramanam shravanam kirtanam these verses uh, these words uh, are these are described in detail in this verses so first it uh, verse number 8 krishna is the source verse number 9 symptoms of pure devotees verse number 10 krishna gives intelligence to his devotees tesham satata yuktanam those who constantly engaged in me in serving me with love and devotion i give the necessary understanding by which they can come to me so those who constantly engage in serving me so only them krishna gives that intelligence so uh, in verse number 10 krishna gives intelligence to his devotees but who to whom those who are engaged in serving lord krishna mercifully destroyed uh, destroys ignorance verse number 11 tesham evanu kamp teshanu evan evam kampartham to show them special mercy i dwell, i am dwelling in their hearts destroy the darkness born of ignorance with a shining lamp of knowledge so that is what uh, uh, you know verse number 11 mentions so these are the chatur shloki 
which uh, in the purport uh, purport Prabhupada is mentioning. Now, here in the purport, we also saw that uh, that source uh, demi uh, Krishna is the source of demigods as well as sages. So, how in verse number ten point two, here. Name vidu suragana Prabhavamma Prabhavam namahashaya Aham madir hidevanam Marishinam cha sarvasaha. So here in 10.2, Krishna is uh, telling neither the host of demigods nor the great sages know my original origin and opulence. For in every respect, I am the source of demigods and sages. So now in demigods, um, yeah, when we talk about demigods, uh, you know, like they have certain powers like Indra, Chandra, Vayu, Agni, Agni, Brahma. So as uh, you know, these are very powerful, uh, powerful people, powerful personalities. So everyone possess, uh, possess some some powers like Vayu Dev, air is there, Agni, fire. So, so there are various uh, powerful, but the source is in the source is Krishna only. That is what Krishna is telling himself in this uh, verse 10.2. And the same thing is go, is getting connected in 10.12, where Arjuna is telling, uh, where uh, Arjuna is uh, mentioning that Param Brahma, Param Dhamma, Pavitram, Paramam Bhavam. So you are the supreme personality of Godhead, the ultimate abode, the purest. The qualities are uh, being mentioned about the Lord. And uh, 10.2, it mentions that source of demigod and sages. So this is mentioned in 10.2. And uh, Lord is unborn. So that is described in verse number 4.6. Ajopi san avyayatma bhutana mishvaro pisan prakritin swan adhisthaya adhisthaya sambhavamyatma mayaya. Anybody would like to repeat this verse? Ajo Pishana Vyayatma Bhutana Mishwaro Pishan Prakritan Swama Dishtaya Sambhavam Yatma Mayaya. I'd like to also, Prabhu. Yes, yes, please go ahead, Mataji. Ajo Pishana Vyayatma Bhutana Mishwaro Pishan Prakritan Swama Dishtaya Sambhavam Yatma Mayaya. Thank you very much. Anybody else would like to repeat? Okay. Ajo Piswan Abhayatma Bhutanam Isharo Pishana Prakritim Shwam Adishtaya Shambhavame Atma Maya. Thank you. You want to read? Ajo Piswan Anastyatma Abhayatma Abhayatma Bhutanam Isharo Pishana Thank you. So here, here Lord is telling in 4.6. So if we read the purport, here Prabhupada is a, is a, in this purport, if you see Prabhupada has mentioned, you know, few things. But if you want to, uh, if you want to see, if you want to understand in detail, then we need to go to those verses and try to read uh, the purport again. Then, you know, like uh, like each and every one, one word, uh, you know, like it is described very elaborately and very nicely explained. So here in 10.2, Lord is telling, I mean, about the Lord is, neither the host of demigods nor the great sages know my origin and origin or opulence here neither the demigods nor the great, great sages know my opulence for in every respects i am the source of demigods and sages so here to understand krishna is you know like even the demigods 
uh, Krishna is telling that it is very difficult uh, uh, difficult to understand for them. So they are also getting bewildered. We can see uh, this bewilderment. The best example would be when Lord was personally present uh, present in this uh, planet. You know, in um, in this Leela, Bhagavad Gita heard. Bhagavad Gita was heard by every. I mean. Everyone, even like uh, if you see, uh, Dhritarashtra was hearing from uh, from Sanjaya about uh, about you know Bhagavad Gita, what Lord is doing and everything. So he was hearing. After understanding, as a father, he knows that you know he can understand that you know Lord Himself is present. And wherever Lord is present, certainly the He is going to that party is going to certainly win. And uh, his son, that means truth prevails at the Lord's side only. That he could have understood, but he is mudha. I mean, the mind is uh, the mind is so absorbed because of enviousness and other uh, bad qualities that you know, even though Lord personally coming and telling that you know this is the right path, you know, like person doesn't understand that. That is, you know, something which we can uh, we can see from uh, uh, from these uh, these events and try to understand that even for the demigods also it is very difficult. Forget about you know, like human beings who even doesn't have neither intelligence nor power nor body. Nothing we have, you know, comparing to demigods. We are weak in every every aspect. But on the other hand, if we see for us as a hope. As a hope, if you see great personality like Thakur Haridasa, you know uh, Haridas Thakur, and uh, and even like great uh, sage Narad Muni, you know, like we, it is so hope. I mean, we have such a such a great hope that even we have something, you know, we can do it. But how to achieve that? That is what uh, you know we need to understand. On one side, we have uh, uh, you know the Trashtra, Duryodhan, uh, you know, like all these. Uh, uh, even uh, even Duryodhana saw uh, ta, uh, form a universal form of Krishna, but still, but still, he couldn't able to understand what Lord is uh, Lord is trying to convey. Whereas we see that devotees even understand what is going in the heart of uh, heart of uh, Lord, and they just surrender their life uh, uh, life to the you know. Uh, to the extreme, you know, like there is nothing uh, like Gopi's uh, story we hear. A lot of Gopi's pastimes are there. You know, they just they just forget about everything. They just want to just see. They are so happy to see the form of Lord. Nothing else they want. So we have such an extreme situation wherein you know it is very easy for a person, for a non-intellect person, also to understand Lord, which is very simple. But on the other side, great people, you know, they get bewildered, even demigods, you know, Brahmaji also doubted, uh, doubted, you know, uh, Supreme Personality is present in Brahma, Vimo, Brahma Vimohan Leela, uh, Leela, where Brahmaji is getting the knowledge from, uh, from Lord, and he confirms that. So Brahmaji has confirmed that, you know, he is, uh, Krishna has imparted Vedic knowledge to Brahma. So we see in uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Janmadhyasya Yato Nanvaya Ditrascha Charteshva Vigna Swarat Tene Brahma Redaya Dikavaye Muyanti Yatsuraya Tejo Vari Mridam Yatavinimayo Yatra Trisargo Mrisha Dhamna Svena Sada Nirastakukam Satyam Param Dhimahi. So, this in this verse, Lord, uh, I mean, uh, anybody would like to repeat this? Yes, Prabhuji. Please go ahead. Janma Dhyasyayaton Vaya Dhitarata Shartishva Bhignyaswarat Tene Brahma Hridaya Adhikavaye Mohyanti Yatsuraya 
तेजो वारी में दाम यथा विनिमय यो मृषा धाम न स्वे न सदा निरस्त कुहकम सत्यम परम धीमहि वेरी नाइस एनीवन एल्स वुड लाइक टू रिपीट सो हियर द ट्रांसलेशन um oh my lord shri krishna son of vasudeva oh all pervading personality of god where is this sound coming here you i don't know somebody we need to mute Can you mute everybody, Prabhu? I know how to. We are. Okay. I think now the sound has gone. Sorry, Mataji. Sorry, everyone. So we were talking about this verse wherein uh, Shrimad Bhagavatam one dot one, wherein uh, Lord is mentioning. Uh, I mean. Uh, we are men- we are talking about brahma ji the great uh, the greatest of demigods who has created uh, created created all this um, uh, you know who is one of the create who is the creator of this of this world of these universes he impart he is he is imparted vedic knowledge lord has lord krishna has imparted the vedic knowledge to brahma ji that is what we are trying to to say in this translation oh my lord o shri krishna son of vasudeva o all pervading personality of god had i offer my respectful obeisances unto you i meditate upon shri krishna because he is the absolute truth and the primeval cause of all causes of the creation sustenance and destruction of the manifested universe he is directly and indirectly conscious of all manifestation and he is independent because there is no other cause beyond him it is he only who first imparted the vedic knowledge unto the heart of brahma ji the original living being by him even the great sages and demigods are placed into illusion so this uh, this particular point uh, like we can see one more example of uh, indra dev so even when indra saw lord krishna uh, lord krishna um, in and uh, in, uh, in you know in vrindavan that uh, he is playing uh, he's he's behaving uh, a very human childish kind of thing he is playing with other kids uh, and you know he is eating prasad from uh, he is eating food from other uh, others plate others uh, you know leftover things so he was kind of completely bewildered bewildered and he took away all all uh, all his gopa friends but you know lord uh, lord you know taught him lesson so this is what even even, even it is uh, even for indra dev you know indra dev also it is very difficult uh, for him he can also be bewildered so he can also be placed into illusion this happens um uh, i was hearing um, in one of the where in one of the yatras where we have gone in india so in uh, mayapur i heard uh, that you know uh, shamananda prabhu was telling telling us uh, on this that uh, maya devi is constantly uh, constantly attacking i mean maya devi will um, will attack as soon as one is one lo- one you know one diverts his mind so little bit it surrender is not just one time activity like you know you you are you have done this thing x y z and then you are done you are surrendered no it is not it is the constant and continuous uh, process so you as soon as your mind is diverted you know maya devi comes into comes into but we have see, we are seeing you know like thakur harud haridasa he didn't got agitated and uh, we uh, most of us you know on the other side if we see you know like slightest of uh, issues in our life uh, we are uh, 
we are completely you know out of uh, out of our uh, out of focus uh, from you know from lord so that's what we need to understand but it is not we should take it as a learning that it is not uh, something uh, something that has happened only to us but even the demigods it is very difficult so what about us there might be failures there might be you know fall down and these sort of things will happen in future uh, in future within our life but only thing is just hold on to the rope of prabhupad and then you know keep uh, keep coming up so that is what uh, uh, one point uh, i would like to make and further further reading here as one is bewildered by his illusory like illusory representation of water seen in fire or land seen on water only because of him do the material universe is temporarily manifested by reactions of three modes of nature appear factual appear fractal although they are unreal i therefore meditate upon him lord krishna who is eternally existent in the transcendental abode which is forever free from the illusory representation of the material world i meditate upon him for he is the absolute truth so this is one another another important thing uh, you know appear factual uh, although they are unreal so we also say that body is temporary uh or you know it is the uh, material world is uh, not real but when we are seeing this unreal it doesn't mean that it doesn't physically it is there you know it is truth it is true but it is not complete truth we should see in the context of the higher truth for example when we say that you know uh that temporary body or unreal this material world is unreal you know uh it is true but in what context in context of permanent so when body is compared to compared to soul so soul is permanent and body is temporary similarly all these uh, universes demigods power fame beauty everything is going to go away everything is going to go back to you know uh, at the time of destruction it will go back to uh back where it came from so everything is going to disappear into into lord uh, uh into lord's body so that's what we need to understand so when it when we say that it is temporary it is temporary or unreal in that context because there is a higher truth behind that so demigods also they are they are great personalities they have done lot of pious uh, activities that's why they are closer to lord and uh, they have been given such uh, such powers so it is there i mean they have that power but it is not permanent so that's why you know we need to understand this uh, uh, in that terminology 4.6 we have seen <clears throat> and a couple of uh, verses um, uh, verse any i mean i'll just take a pause any point uh, anyone would like to add here till now so we spoke about uh, you know summary like full chatur chatur shloki verse we read uh, 12 and 13 and we were talking about uh, in the purport we are talking about eternal transcendental absolute unborn and the greatest so we we saw this from 10.2 where the source of demigods and sages comes this is the verse which describes uh, uh, describes about the source krishna is the source of demigods and sages and uh, 4.6 uh, krishna is unborn so that is what uh, that is one point and uh, shrimad bhagavatam 1.1 we see that even brahma ji brahma ji is uh, krishna is imparting the knowledge to brahma ji and vyasdeva Uh, starts with this verse om namo bhagavate vasudevaya so son of vasudeva any point anyone would like to add here no point but just a comment it is amazing how the unreal seems real <laughs> yeah it is 
Mm. Actually, um, mm. none of us really think it's unreal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it is. Even like um, one uh, on a lighter note, um, it is said that um, I mean, in one of the class, um, uh, I was hearing that you know, uh, some people who who have money. Uh, like from the Indian, uh, uh, you know, like India, Indian cultural point of view, like some people, you know, they try to show off that, uh, that I'm taking these many, this much medicine and they are so much expensive. Even like people, people have, uh, people are relating, still, you know, they want to show off, uh, show off on their medicine, though their health is kind of poor and still they want to show off. And some, you know, some people, I find it very funny that, you know, like uh, their, um, their kids are, uh, are away in foreign and, you know, like that, that father, you know, some, some of the parents, uh, uh, some of the parents, they will try to show up. Whereas, you know, like the son is not even, not even son or, you know, daughter, you know, their kids are not even concerned about their parents, but, you know, that father, he will just, you know, some not not devotees, uh, but you know, some of the people will try to show up that you know, yeah, my son is so rich and this and that. You know, like oh, uh, so, so yeah. true. Everything that you said, yeah, and yeah, right. We are even proud of the list of diseases we have. <laughs> <laughs> like that is like uh, you know, uh, like completely out of, uh, and that's true also. Like, uh, I mean, one now. Um, on one another instance, I heard in one of the lectures saying that even, I mean, uh, those who have traveled in India or in Mumbai, so there are, you know, beggars on the streets. So beggars also, like this ego is so high, even like, you know, sages, demigods, we talk, even like in the smallest of small, like, uh, you know, that beggar, you know, like he will also be so proud that, you know, on the signal or on the street, he's, uh, he's so... He's so smart that he's begging, he can beg and you know cheat others and get more money. So with this begging ability, also he will be so proud. So to so become yeah, Shila Pro, Prabhupada said you can be attached to your penny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so that is the thing. Uh, so it is very easy. So whenever I hear somebody saying that, you know, even uh, even like you know. Like even there is no, there is, I mean, it is so unreal that, you know, and like, you know, people are not even bothered about you, but still you're trying to connect because you just want, you are so proud of, you want to just show off that you're superior to others. This mentality itself is so, so, for, you know, uh, so bad that, you know, people uh, just, you know, that's why we keep on appearing, uh, taking birth and birth and birth after birth after birth. Unless, you know, like we have, uh, we are connected with some, you know, like under like Prabhupada's mercy. So otherwise it's very difficult. So this is one another verse, um, a nectar of devotion. Uh, wherein, dadati prati granati, guhyam akhyati prachati, bhongte bhojayate chaiva, sadvidi priti lakshanam. In this verse, um, uh, we pro in this purport, uh, Prabhupada was also talking about devotional service. So, the, I mean, um, Nectar of Devotion, this is one of the very small book, but it is very, very good book. Those who have not read uh, this book, they can, uh, they can take it from our bookstore. It's very, um, it's very, I mean, I think $5 maybe you can get a book uh, that. So it is not expensive and it is easy to read also. It is not big book like Srimad Bhagavatam. It's very easy. But I'm telling you, once you start reading and start, uh, start uh, you know, understanding these verses, it is like so deep and so deep. Slowly, you know, that progress uh, will certainly happen. So I would recommend uh, anybody would be interested. They can, you know, uh, they can, you know, call temple or they can also reach out to me. We will, you know, deliver to your home. So, dadati prati granati, guhyama khyati prachati, bhungte bhojayate chaiva, shadvidi priti lakshanam. So, here in nectar of, uh, a nectar of instruction, so these are the simple way in which devotional service can be expressed. 
So offering gifts in charity, accepting. So we will read the synonyms. Um, dadati, giving gifts charity. Pratigranati, accepts in return. Guhiyam, confidential topics. Akhyati, explains. Prachati, inquires. Bhungte, eats. Bhojayate, feeds. Cha, also. Eva, certainly. Satvidha, Shatvidam, Satvidhi. Six kinds, Preeti, love, of love, Lakshanam, symptoms. Offering gifts in charity, accepting gifts in charity, revealing one's mind in confidence, inquiring confidentially, accepting prasada, and offering prasada are six symptoms of love shared by one devotee to another. These are so simple, but you know, it should be the motive, the intention should be right. Whenever, uh, whenever, um, whenever gifts are exchanged, so the intention behind that gift should be very pure. I'll just give one example. Uh, it doesn't matter if you give a, a dollar or you know uh, or uh, thousands of dollar, but if a person has right intention towards uh, towards that uh, towards that activity, so any activity like offering charity, giving, accepting, eating, uh, inquiring, you know. Uh, um, asking questions and receiving questions. So all these things in the spiritual life, it has completely a different, uh, uh, different uh, paradigm. I would say a different. You know, it needs to be understood very carefully. So, like uh, one example, there was one devotee <clears throat> in uh, in Mumbai. So where uh, you know, like ten years, uh, ten to fourteen years back, I would say. 14 years back. So when I was um, uh, during start of my uh, for 15 years back. So during start of my mm, my spiritual life, my Krishna conscious life. So we were uh, we were working. I was part of one of the program. So wherein we used to manage these kids and small kids, youth youth. I mean, uh, eight uh, eight nine tenth grade uh, kids and towards college. So we were part of that program. And what I saw is one. Oh, one uh, one devotee, um, uh, and uh, like that, that his father was very uh, from a very poor family, so they didn't had that much money, and his father was you know, uh, you know a small a security guard, and he hardly had any money. So, but you know their their love is is exceptional. That's what you know. I want to I want to tell everyone. That whenever you give gift, if you have right intention, intention, you will really see um, see these um, these miracles happening, these realizations coming within each one of our heart, and it is certainly going to happen if you know that right. But somehow it won't be the same, but it can be in any way. But realization will certainly come. So this person, you know, like they didn't had any money less money i mean houses i mean their uh, their apartment was also very small and uh, you know like uh, uh, two th two kids were there parents and you know uh, but her mother uh, like i was connected with um, that uh, small uh, you know like eighth grader prabhu so he told me prabhu you come to my house so it it was the, on the way uh, you know where our program used to happen i went there uh, and we were doing uh, Janmashtami, Janmashtami fundraising. So we went, I, he called me, I went there and, um, and then they gave me a glass, a steel glass uh, they gave me. Uh, it was a new glass. And I said, you know, like generally we ask uh, money, but whatever you get in, uh, uh, get as a, you know, like as an offering to Lord, if they want to offer something, Lord, who am I to, you know, say no. So I just accepted, but at that time I also didn't had anything where it will be used. So she gave me a glass and some eleven rupees or uh, something like that, you know, uh, small money she gave. That also for that family, you know, it was a uh, very difficult. So you can understand uh, what would be the situation of their family. So she gave me a glass, and then that uh, glass I just went uh, and you know. To, I gave it to my senior. I said, this is what, you know, uh, I had received from uh, such and such family. I don't know what we will do. Uh, so everybody, you know, 
देर ऑल्सो लाइक कृष्णा इज गिवन सो एवरीबडी सेट ओके देखते हैं अभी कृष्णा क्या करता है एंड यू वोट बिलीव यू नो लाइक एवरी वन सो दैट सेम ग्लास वॉज यूज बाई यू नो इन दैट जन्माष्टमी वेर वी कीप डी टीज सो देर we have we were fall we we had one glass shortage and the same glass which this family has given the same glass was used for water offering uh, you know to krishna so that's how you know like these things are so if you are uh, if you are giving some charity or something like that with a pure intention uh, you know with the right intention krishna certainly sees those things and uh, this realization will certainly come to come to any devotee so this is practically i have seen you know in my life so that's why i mean that is one of the eye opener for me when i <clears throat> i heard i mean i saw that in in front of me so that was something you know amazing and there is one more uh, more verse sat krishna nam charita disita apya vidya स्वीट it is wonderful that simply by careful chanting and the sweet names uh, every day a natural relish awakens within his tongue and his disease is gradually destroyed so this is where i would like to end today's class so because uh, a person i mean we see we saw the example of uh, dhritarashtra um, dhritarashtra and others so so the, i mean we those person will never be able to understand uh, understand about krishna's uh, uh, krishna's glory though they heard it right uh, though they heard it from krishna himself everything but still they are not able because of chandas same thing is our life is also like that you know everybody is most of us you know we will be going through in the spiritual life like that so slowly with you know uh with chanting i mean solution is also given chanting of the holy name but devotional service what we do with what intention we should do and uh, you know about krishna uh you know like as he is the source in in many verses uh, we are we can see the references right from the bhagavad gita shrimad bhagavatam and other sources so that's where i would like to end any questions or comments excellent presentation today sundari <laughs> sundar <laughs> nath is it the bhakti bhakti shastri that's getting you better <laughs> yeah, this uh, presentation uh, thank, thank you mata ji please say it in front of shrinivas uh, <laughs> <Srinivasa. laughs> <laughs> ji he'll give us my friend daughter are in the call <laughs> Credit <laughs> was. I have no role in bhakti shastri. I stay away from bhakti shastri. <laughs> What is that, Sukhopi? I said I have no role in bhakti shastri. I stay away from bhakti shastri. <laughs> But your father does a fine job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mother. Last week it was so difficult. We were all scratching our head. <laughs> I know, but you did such a great presentation. I was impressed, <laughs> and you, very sir. nice verses that you picked, all related to the holy name, which was wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. All, all credit to you know Shrinivas Acharya Prabhu. Thank you, Madhuji. Any, 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 anything you would like to add, Madhuji? Anyone else? i think it's good uh, further verses are also i would say don't miss any of the further classes uh, so they are very good verses so uh, yeah i'm looking forward to it yeah. thank you thank you mantu ji thank you very much one chapu so, i like yeah. your point about how surrender is in the one time thing it's yeah that really was an excellent point yeah thank yeah you. Yeah. that it's a, it, that it's something that we need to constantly strive towards 
and mm. if we are even slightly distracted we, are done. Seen, we have seen that with practical experience yeah yeah, <laughs> we, yeah. We, <laughs> can be, we can be taken away from krishna very quickly yeah yeah that's so true yeah uh, thank you Matthew. thank you one check out the best check the pass and the be the chair the teeth and probably if you Krishna we be on a moon of the party version of the key chai the pro part key chai but keep that key chai Sundar Gopinath Prabhu ki chai Tamala Mantji ki chai and all Vaishnavas ki chai all Vaishnavas ki chai Hare Krishna thank you thank you very much Hare Krishna